Hello, welcome to my channel. Another booby file reads Playboy for the articles. And this is Garb August, the month of celebrating trashy and garbage books. And this, by trashy and garbage books, we mean books that other people disapprove of what people can read because they think you should be reading high-class literature or profound nonfiction and not trashy books. And trashy is basically open to interpretation, but it's a month to celebrate and enjoy to read what you want to read. And to show you exactly what I am going to be reading for Garb August. There are four main prompts. The first is uh, Sex and or Violence, and I'm going to be reading Harold Robbins, 79th Park Avenue, about a call girl who really likes her work. And for Vintage, week number two, I am going to be reading the Blade series, where Richard Blade is transferred to a clothing optional society you know, defending maidens against sea monsters in the nude. That has to be trashy. Uh, week number three is whatever goes, and that's going to be V.C. Andrews, Flowers in the Attic. And the last month, last month week is what WTF, books that make you just go, what? Yeah, yeah, you get the picture. And this is going to be the novelization of the movie, It's Alive, about a killer baby. I also put out a video a few weeks ago asking my viewers to help me select some other garbage titles that I had purchased. And um, I have calculated all the votes. And there are three, vo three books that got five votes each. And that was Blood Letter by Warren Newton Beef. It's a vampire novel, and um, just look at that trashy, trashy cover. Another one that got five votes was Feral. It's about Killer Kitty. Oh, getting light shining on the cover. This is about Killer Kitty Cats. And, you know, gotta be good. And lastly, Nero, Butcher of Rome. Um, this is actually a translation from the German, written in the late 19th century. So this is going to be 19th century trash, I think. Now, there were some other books that got four votes each. And I am going to try to squeeze in a couple of these. I don't know how many I'll get to. But let's see. You've got Coma by Robin Cook. Dig That Crazy Grave by Richard S. Prather. And Carrie by Stephen King. Yeah, some people are going to say Stephen King's not really trash, but um, a lot of people do consider him trash. And maybe this is like the perfect example of trashy literature that um, lots of people think Stephen King is trash. And a lot of people find value in entertainment of Stephen King. So in many ways, Stephen King might be the perfect example of books to read for Garbagas. And that's what I'm going to be reading. But I am also going to give you a library tour of some of my trashiest books. And for this, I picked out one of my favorite subgenres of trashy literature, and that is Killer Animals. And Killer Animals is essentially a book about um, animals gone wild and attacking people. You can have it as an individual animal, such as Jaws, or uh, hordes of animals, which um, come out and attack people. And usually in this book, the, the killer animal is uh, not quite normal. Something has happened to that animal or that group of animals to make them so deadly. I know in Jaws, the, the shark was a, a very large example of the species, probably larger than it's ever actually been found, but there you go. So what are my killer animal books? Take a look. Webs by Scott B. 
baker, no, by backer, and it has a uh, has um, spiders. You see the spiders on there. Razorback by Peter Brennan, and this is um, I believe um, set in the uh, somewhere, but a large pig, and pigs can be very dangerous. Especially wild pigs. Ah, Squirm by uh, Richard Curtis. This is a novelization about a movie about killer worms. And normally you don't think about worms um, being very harmful, but you know, through the, the imagination of the scriptwriter and the modern inventions like electricity, worms can become deadly. Fangs by William Dobson. This is about a king cobra in a high-rise apartment building. And he gets the, the beautiful aging starlet. The Pack by David Fisher. Um, this is about a pack of wild dogs gone on totally mad. Rattlers by Joseph L. Gilmore. Another book about snakes. Slime by John Halkin. This is killer jellyfish that managed to get on land. It's a silly book. Lair by James Herbert. This is about rats. James Herbert, the main sequel to uh, Lair. Again, about rats. And uh, Lair is um, the sequel to The Rats, which unfortunately um, is sitting on a different shelf right now. But they're all about killer rats. We have The Swarm by Arthur Herzog. This is about African killer honeybees coming to the United States. Alligator by Shelley Katz. Just look at that back cover. That's just like an amazing back cover on a book. Killer Flies by Mark Kendall. These are about flies that mutate and kill people. Blood Flies by Jean Lazata. More flies, who would have thought? Cane a Spider by um, Richard Levy. This is about very big tarantulas. The Spiders by Richard Lewis. Again, about spiders. I'm looking on the cover of that. That looks, I have not read this one, but that, that looks like some sort of tarantula. Devil's Coach Horse by Richard Lewis. This is about a, a breed of beetle that goes maniac. Scorpion by Michael R. Lineker. This is again, Killer Scorpions. Venom by Russell O'Neill. A King Cobra again. Vespers by Jeff Rovin. Vampire Bats. Fatalis by Jeff Rovin. I believe this is about um, saber-toothed tigers coming back. Panther by Alan Ryan. Big old panther. Poor lovely old li little lady on the cover. I guess she's gonna get eaten. Venom. 
by Alan Schofield, again about a snake. Now this one's not a king cobra. Um, this one's about a mamba, I think. Nick Sherman, The Cats. Another book about killer kitty cats. The Flock by James Robert Smith. This is about the discovery of an isolated part in the United States where they discovered the large terror birds. These were the six foot birds that uh, existed in prehistoric ages and uh, were carnivorous. Gila by Les Simons. This is about giant Gila monsters. The Tiger by Nigel Slatter. I guess this is about a tiger on the loose. And we have four books about crabs. As Night of the Crabs, Killer Crabs, Origin of the Crabs, and no, that was Crabs on the Rampage, and this is Origin of the Crabs. I am only missing Crabs, the Human Sacrifice, and that book is like ridiculously expensive on the internet. Nightwing by Martin. Cruz Smith. Vampire Bats make a second appearance. The Morgau Rises. Notice the exclamation point. By Peter Tremaine. Um, I forgot what kind of creature this is, but um, again, a lovely young lady in serious, serious trouble. I read this and I said, I don't remember what the monster is. Really wasn't all that great. And finally, The Ants by Peter Tremaine. I believe these are um, army ants. So that is my collection of um, killer animal books. Um, there are a few notable exceptions missing from my collection. Um, Slugs by Sean Hudson. Um, I unfortunately unhauled my, my copy of Slugs and I now only have a digital copy. Um, and, um, what was the other main one that I forgot? There's a few others that I, I am missing, but, um, I do love the genre of killer animals, even though the books themselves are often rather silly. Anyway, have a magnificent Garbagist and read trashy books.